In this tutorial, we're going to review how to integrate SmartArt into your spreadsheets. We have a blank spreadsheet right here, and we're going to be able to click on a cell and come up to the Insert ribbon and simply click on SmartArt. When you do that, you have a control panel that pops up right here that allows you to pick from any of these templated type versions of SmartArt. They have everything from lists, processes, cycles, hierarchy, relationship, everything like that. So whether you're trying to create some type of flow chart or you're just trying to create a visual representation of something so that your uh, readers or your management are able to get a better grasp of it, uh, this is a great way to do it. Uh, we'll come up and click on the funnel, which is one of my favorites to use. Click OK. And as you can see, a funnel has popped up right here. And so all you have to do is give each of these items, you can see that the text is all here on the left hand side, and you give each of these their own name, and then on the bottom it'll have a title, and then we'll show, we'll go into how to design it. Uh, this is going to be for baseball, so we're going to say to create a winning team, we need offense. We need defense, and we need pitching. And on the bottom, this is going to be a winning team. And so you can see it's very easy to create. We can make these bigger or smaller simply by dragging the corners or the sides. And also, uh, Excel is very good at recognizing when you're using too many characters or characters uh, more than they originally intended. So say that instead of offense, we wanted to make it more practical. And we say we want to do uh, batting, drills, and cage work. And as you can see, not only did it shrink down the text automatically to fit in there, but it also scaled down these to as well so that they would be matching. So Excel is very good at being able to quickly do that without you having to have any real design expertise. Now to change the look and feel of any of the smart art uh, creations that you make, simply come up to the design smart tools ribbon right up here. And as you can see, this is the very basic 2D version of this chart we can come and create multiple look and feels for it. So say you wanted to go with something with a little shadow or maybe even something 3D. Uh, Excel makes it very easy to create those. Uh, one of my favorites to use is just this one. Uh, it has a little bit of a 3D kind of flavor to it, but uh, it's not over the top. And depending on what your uh, personal or corporate style or color scheme is, you can come right to the left here and click change colors. And you can change any number of colors. Go light blue, you can do multicolored. Uh, it really just depends on what you're looking for. As soon as you click back on it, you can see this smart tool section appears above the ribbon and that's where you can make your changes. Uh, you can also say that you start this and you don't really like the way what it's turning into. You can come up here and create the chart completely from scratch. So we can come up here and say, okay, maybe we wanted this, a timeline. So we can say the batting drills and cage work first, and then defense pitching equals a winning team. And the nice thing is with each one of these options, you can always come here to the left hand side and change these. So say with pitching, you want to change this to mound work and bullpen time. And the other thing is you're not limited by whatever Excel came with the default. So say we want this, but we also want to work on base running. You, all you have to do is at the very end of your text, you click enter if you're uh, on a PC, and it creates a new one. And so you just keep on adding as many of these as you would like. And then um, and when you're done, you just click out of it. Now you can see this one still has an empty one, 
And so I have to come back to the empty slot, click delete, and it automatically goes back down. So that's how to integrate SmartArt and those type of objects into your Excel spreadsheet. This is a great way to create visual tools to go along with your tables and help people really understand what you're trying to do. Uh, you can also copy these items into uh, Microsoft Word or into PowerPoint.